Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Michael and I'm a videographer based in Canberra, Australia. I've used this Hamix 66 watt and 100 watt chargers for about a year now and here's my review. The Hamix 66 watt charger retails for about 60 Australian dollars and the 100 watt version retails for about 100 Australian dollars, but you can often find them discounted on Amazon. Both support worldwide 100 to 240 volt AC input uh, and comes with an Australian ad adapter and a 100 watt rated USB-C cable. The 100 watt version also includes a 1.5 meter extension cord, EU and UK adapters, and a carrying case. Both are available in black or white colors. So for work, I use a 16 inch MacBook Pro and it comes with a 140 watt power adapter. Now paired with the MagSafe cable, it charges insanely fast. Uh, it's something like zero to 50% in about 30 minutes. But like most standard chargers that come with your laptop, they're relatively bulky for today's standard. So for my day job, I have to travel to client offices daily and I wanted something that's a little bit smaller and can charge multiple devices simultaneously. I compared many of the options out there and ultimately decided that the Hamix suited my needs the best. And here's why. Firstly, the Hamix chargers use GAN or gallium nitro technology. And this is what allows them to be so compact in size. The 66 watt version measures 5.3 by 5.3 by three centimeters. And the 100 watt version measures 6.3 by 6.3 by 3.05 centimeters, making both of them smaller than a post-it note. And it's not just Hamix. If you Google GAN chargers, you'll find options from other brands that are quite small as well. Uh, so here's a comparison of the Hamix 66 watt and 100 watt chargers and a couple of other options. I really like how well it fits in my accessory pouches such as the Bowery Tech Kit and the Pelican 1060 for travel. What makes the Hamix so flexible and great for travel is the swappable plug design. The charger has a built-in foldable US or China type A plug but can be easily adapted using different plug adapters. You can also swap it out for a 1.5 meter long extension cord if you need the extra reach or if you're plugging it into a power point located in a pretty awkward position that blocks the charger. The 66 watt version has two two USB-C ports and one USB-A port. The 100 watt version has three USB-C ports and one USB-A port. For those who use multiple devices, having a charger with multiple ports is incredibly useful because you can save so much time by charging them all at once and eliminates the need to carry multiple chargers. And even though I do try to keep everything USB-C, having a USB-A port is still pretty handy these days because you never know when you might need it. On the 100 watt charger, the first two USB-C ports both allow 100 watt of output when only a single port is in use. And on the 66 watt charger, both USB-C ports allow 65 of output when only a single port is in use. As you connect more devices, the charger distributes the available power across all the ports in use. There are numerous of different combinations depending on which ports are connected. So if you're interested, uh, you can pause the video right here and take a look at this chart. In my usage, the 100 watt version charges my 16 inch MacBook Pro from zero to 100% in about two hours, which is fantastic. Of course, if I have my iPad plugged in as well, they'll take longer. One minor annoyance of the automatic power distribution is that the charger isn't smart enough to tell whether you actually have a device connected or whether you've just left the cable plugged in without a connected device. Another annoyance is that the wall plugs connection isn't particularly tight. So if you pull the cable, it's unlikely to act completely disconnect. But as you can see, there's definitely a little bit of a wriggle. Lastly, there were a few occasions where it got pretty hot under heavy usage for an extended period of time. Other than that though, it's about the same temperature as the standard Apple power adapters that I have. Final thoughts, do I recommend them? Overall, I'm pretty satisfied with both the Hamix 66 watt and 100 watt chargers. I know some people swear by their devices manufacturer charger only or a highly reputable brand like Anchor, and I totally get that. But for me, the Hamix has been reliable, has all the features that I need, and I think it represents great value for the price. If you're struggling to decide between the two or simply what wattage charger to get uh, in general, consider how you're gonna use it and with what devices. Is it just gonna be for your bedside table or is it gonna be an all-in-one solution for your travel or office? If possible, it's a good idea to get one that's more powerful than the one that came with your device so that when you're charging multiple devices simultaneously, each one will still receive adequate output. It can also unlock fast charging capabilities on supported devices. And lastly, you don't have to be concerned about using a high wattage charger for low powered devices because pretty much all devices these days are smart enough to only draw whatever output it needs. 
If you're interested, please check them out. I'll leave the links in the description below. Thanks for watching.